Welcome to the Ashen Security short demonstration on the Cantec USB 485 communication module. Hi, this product is a USB 485 from Cantec. It is a communication protocol transmitter that you would plug in, in this instance, by USB onto your computer which would start the communication loop to your devices, to your controllers. So when you unpack the box, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you're going to have the USB 485 converter where you put your loops to your controllers. It comes with a velcro pad so you can mount that in one of your controller boxes. And that's a firewire connector. There's a cabling as you'll notice, it's got the special connector that goes here, and this would be the USB to plug into the computer. Now, I did say you can mount that in the controller box. If you're doing something like a, uh, an installation with a laptop, you would leave that in the controller, show up at your laptop, and affect the changes that you want to do, either your time zones and add card holders, or you would install this on your desktop, glue it, and run a communication loop from here to your first controller. Your USB CD driver for the device. In this case, is an older version. It's uh, for Windows 98, Windows Millennium 2000, and XP. Again, and you plug this in, you'll notice that the power light will come on and your transmit and receive. If you find it your receive light is not flashing that means you have a uh, port connection or an open loop connection to your first controller when the controller talks and communicates back to the software you will see the receive light flash which will tell you that you've got some communication back to the panel again very simple device some people don't know what the 485 uh, means that it's a long distance transmission protocol. Uh, initially it was for one kilometer in length. I noticed that the uh, documentation indicates that it's good for 1200 meters. Um, okay, you're good for 1200 meters. And that is it for this device. Again, the USB 485 Make sure when you install this that you understand the polarities of the X minus and the X positive in the ground. You do need the ground. Uh, you may be able to get away on short distances without the ground, but anything over 80 to 100 feet, I would recommend that you install the ground and it will minimize errors and lag and delays and errors on your protocol. Again, the 45 by Cantec. You can get this device in the DB-485, which basically means that you plug it in onto the 9-pin connector or with an adapter to a 25-pin adapter onto the back end of your desktop. Uh, that's an older format. The new format is the USB-485. Thank you.